Hey guys, watching Volgor's videos. Um, this is probably the fifth annual, fourth, I don't know. The Kung Garage Cell pickup update. Um, my brother got some movies. Red Skeleton. Never heard of it. I got it. Whoever. Long Kiss Goodnight. It's an alright movie. I've seen it before. SNL Jackson, so it's got that going for it. And it's got also, it also has Stuart Little's mom. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Last Starfighter. My Fair Lady. Dragon. Bruce Lee story. But it doesn't start as Bruce Lee. It starts as Jason Lee. Uh -huh. I hate how stupid phone blurs. Uh, Dirty Harry in Deadpool. Factory sealed. Walmart for nine ninety six. Dracula. These movies were five for a dollar, by the way. Yeah. The Wolfman. Yeah. Frankenstein. Yeah. Got Ghostbusters. Oh. Ghostbusters oh. 2, which... Has no black guy. Has no black guy, apparently. See? See? The cover. Wait, what's his name, then? Only three people are on are on the cover, but has five their names on there, so I don't know. Salem's Lot, which is also factory sealed. And uh, factory sealed, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. No. Because it has stickers on it. If it was resealed, it wouldn't have any stickers on it. So, zo so those are the movies my brother got. And it all fit perfectly in that box. He also got a Mahjong set. Mahjong. For a dollar. Pretty awesome. It looks like little sushis or something. I don't know. Crock pot, or I'm sorry, Dutch oven. Open the lid. With uh, mutant children. <laughs> Hershey's classic recipes. From panic to power. Okay, enough of that. Now the crap I got. This year, my dad didn't go with us. He went hunting. He didn't get anything, but he got a lot of chanterelle mushrooms. I'll start with the CDs I picked up. It has nothing to do with the garage sales, but whatever. Uh, Gore Battle Maximus. I haven't listened to it too much, but it sounds pretty good. It has lyrics and whatnot. My brother got a free box of shiny rocks. Very shiny. Anyways, okay, out of there. So I got uh, Gore Battle Maximus, um, Rob Zombie, Venomous Rat Regeneration Vendor, kind of redundant name, but whatever. But uh, it's got an awesome labeled case cover. It's pretty good. It's I think it's better than the last two CDs and uh, those. One's from Holland. Motley Crue. <laughs> Shout out the devil. 
Molly Crew, Dr. Feelgood. I think there's like a dollar seventy-five on uh, GoHastings.com. Great website to buy CDs. I don't know how much Rob Zombie was. It's probably, I don't know, probably eight dollars or seven, and Gore was ten and it was brand new. My brother got this um, wood carving set. Pretty awesome. I guess it was six dollars. I don't know if it was worth that. Probably. And uh, I got these for quarter each. See the price tags. Yeah. Wow. What's that? Twilight four. No, I got that for a quarter too. It looks like Twilight. I see a chick with makeup and it's pink and yeah. Pink. There is no pink. Hey. What color? This is from Holland, is that? Canada. Oh, oh I thought purple. you meant the lady. That is a lady. Girl. Whatever, get out of here. I'm done. I'm done with your books. Let me get to my movies now. You have got it. Okay. Yeah. Phone booth. I've seen it before. It's pretty suspenseful. I thought Kim Geisinger was in that. No. Nope, Young there. Frankenstein, I don't remember if I have it. I'm going to look on the porch, see if I have it, but I don't yes. think I do. I think I just saw it on TV and thought I had it. But yeah, it's a really awesome movie. That's Willy Wonka. The original. Um, Don Knotts, The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. Uh, I had Don Knotts, so I thought, what the heck. Uh, ghost Story, never heard of it, so but it says Ghost Story, so it might be a good movie. So, yeah. And I, I did not look up any of these movies beforehand. I just grabbed it and went. Dragnet. Dan Aykroyd, Tom Hanks. Uh, yeah, so I thought, well, and it's Factor Sealed, too. It's usually funny. It could be a bad movie, but I have no idea. My cousin said it was good, so there we go. Um, Melody Time, just another Disney movie. So I figured why not. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Um, I think I've been holding out for a, a cheap DVD, but I haven't found it. I don't think I have this. No. I think every time I've seen it, I've passed it up. But I figured, you know... That cheap, I better get it. And uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. There, you can watch that. I've never seen it anywhere, so I figured this might be the last place I see it, so I thought I'd get it. So, yeah. Um, Little Shop of Horrors with Jack Nicholson. I've never seen the original. And the remake or sequel, I don't know what it is. I've never really, I've seen a, I've seen parts of it. Um, Little Shop of Horrors. This is the one with Rick Moranis. So yeah, one of the year's most entertaining films, A Hot House Full of Laughs. How long is it? Came on eighty six, so it's just as old as my car. Um. Ninety six minutes. Wow, that's not really that long. I just watched Rose Red and that was two hundred and seventy six minutes or two hundred and seventy one minutes per tape. And that was two tapes. So anyways. Not both. This one's only Where did I see it? 70 minutes. Just 10 minutes over an hour. Alright. The Omega Code. Never heard of it, but it looked cool, so I guess I'm taking a gamble on that. A. Yeah. Dirt cheap gamble. And of course, Stephen King's It. And uh, my, my cousin 
watched this movie when she was little. Could this be included? Sure. My brother got an old wind up clock. I get out here. For a dollar. For a dollar. My cousin watched this when she was little and it's terrified her ever since. And now she hates it. And you know, if I would have watched it when I was little too, I would have hated it too. I watched. I haven't watched the movie itself, but I watched Nostalgia Critics review, and uh, it just looks like another goofy bad movie that's supposed to be scary but isn't. Just a creepy bad movie. So um, yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna watch this because it's long. Um, I don't know how long it is. As long as the rose red. 192 minutes, so it's longer than Rose Red. So I don't know when I'm going to get to watch it, but anyways, I have it. Figured this great shape, this cheap. You know, if I was to get it at a thrift store, like especially at Goodwill, at Goodwill would be two bucks. It'd be a, a dollar per tape. Or St. Vinny's. I also got this giant beer mug. And for comparison, um, here, that's how big it is compared to a VHS tape. So, yeah, that's, that's a lot of beer or whatever. And that was only 50 cents. It's got supposedly 24 karat gold on there, beer 5 cents. So that's neat. Um, oh, I got this neato, like, binocular thing. It's kind of hard to, anyways. You can't really control the zoom. The zoom is more or less your focus, and then if you're focus, if you're looking at something closer, you'll focus it for up close. If you're looking at something far away, you'll focus it far away. And it said $3 on it, and then I'm like, how about a dollar? And then she said... Well, everything's half price, so will that be okay? I'm like, okay. So it wasn't even a buck fifty; it was a dollar. So it's exactly what I wanted. And I can also pull it out, and make it wider. If you have wide eyes. So this year, oh, I also have some more crap. Some beer cozies, coffee cup. Don't recall asking for your opinion. You put your beer right in there. This is the lid to it, so you can put coffee or whatever in it. You got some straws. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, I, I need that. Now get that out of here. Um, there's another beer cozy. And last but not least, I guess I don't know. Marlboro. Marlboro. 1989, 1990 coffee cup coffee club and it's getting hard to find coffee mugs cups whatever that are this size to fit your cup in yeah so that was cool I can keep my beer nice and cold or soda pop I think that was that's pretty much it I mean we left a lot um, later this year years before we leave like at 7 or not even it was an hour or two later than usual I know that much and we drove all over the place, and a lot of places that had sales that had them before were way smaller. It just seemed like a lot of sales, just, their stuff was a lot less than before. If, I mean, not even if they had to sell from before. Most people that had to sell from the year previous, or even the year before that, didn't have one. But uh, a, couple of so a couple of different highlights. One was... Uh, Somebody that plays same place. My brother got this uh, woodcutter set, carving set. Um, they wanted a hundred dollars for a standard CB. I have a picture of it, but I can't really sh just show you my phone. I wish I could. But um, it wasn't even digital. It was just a standard CB where you change the channel, click, 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 click. It was in good condition. It's clean, but still a hundred freaking dollars. You probably get it for like two bucks at Teen Challenge. You know, I mean, seriously. Um, there's also another place where they wanted like 50 bucks for an old fridge, that, like a shorty fridge. I don't know if that was too bad, but... Or a dollar for half a quart of oil, a dollar half a quart of transmission fluid. Um, 
oh, there was a tub of like laundry deter detergent, and it had a tape on it that said "old socks one dollar." It's like really. And I was gonna open it to see if they were serious, but then I didn't. Um, an old there's some old VCRs. It's kind of disappointing I didn't get like a record or a or a, a video game. I didn't even get a board game, which I'm fine with. I have enough freaking board games. The only board game I want is I want now is uh, Pokemon Master Trainer. Um, but all in all, it wasn't too bad. All all the best stuff we got was off like our first or second stop, and we went to like nine garage sales, nine or ten, something like that, and we didn't come home till like two thirty, and we left at. 10, 15, so, four hours of just running around the comb, it was, it was crazy, I almost got hit too, um, going into a, a barn sale, and it was down a hill, they saw me, they had to have, I mean, it's not like there's fog or trees or anything in the way, and going down probably like 35 miles an hour or whatever it is and then oh look a, a sail and they they I'm coming up I'm like 30, 40 feet away something like that, not too far I don't know it's pretty close you know close enough where if they would have pulled out in front of me and I didn't hit the brakes hard enough it would have been a problem and it just so happened to be a, another Subaru like a 88 something GL or DL I can't tell from the headlights but you know something like that and, uh, yeah, if I didn't hit the brakes hard enough, it would bad. There was that. Um, I don't know what else there was, any more things to say. But, anyways, it was cool. It was fun. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Just glad I got something out of it and just didn't run around for hours, didn't get anything, because that would have sucked. But usually we have a, huge, a, a big car load full of stuff, but... I guess that's a good thing. We don't need a big car load. In one year we got a lawnmower, and another year we got another lawnmower, and then one year my brother got a, a ab lounge or not ab lounge, but an ab crunch machine thing that you just like lay on with the foam pad and you, yeah. So this is the year we got the least amount of stuff, but whatever, it's fine. I'm done ranting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.